Well, first of all, I do think he'll be starting the rest of the season. And second of all, I do think he has a chance to bring them to the playoffs. I, what I'd like to see a little bit more of, which I, I was a little disappointed of in the about in the early part of the Buffalo game on Sunday, I felt like offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur had the shackles on a little bit too much too early. They didn't really start to open things up in the passing game until the second half. And I would have liked to have seen him allow White to sling it around a little bit more. Again, some of that is you know, maybe some nuanced stuff that, you know, uh, you know. I've, one thing that that Robert Sala, the Jets head coach, has said all along is that Mike White has been taking what the defense gives him, and because some of the criticism was he dumped it off a lot in his first start last year against Cincinnati, which is a, which was a, obviously a terrific performance. But the reasoning for that was that was what the Bengals were giving him. So I don't really know what you know. I'm not educated enough to tell you exactly what the Bills were giving you know, white defensively on, on Sunday, but I would have liked to have seen him try to stretch the field a little bit, go a little bit more downfield. And I think that was a little bit more a result of, of, of conservative play calling, but I do believe, and I think you saw it in the second half that, that white, you know, has the capability of, of getting the ball downfield and making some big plays and taking some big hits, obviously. This is uh, coming from a gut feeling only and reading the tea leaves a little bit and speaking to Robert Sala on Monday at which time he said he would let us know more on Wednesday about the quarterback situation. My gut feeling is that Zach will be the number two this week. I could be wrong on that. And I'm not trying to indict Flacco, but he didn't obviously he did not look good. He's, he's not mobile. Uh, and that was a big problem against a, a, a Buffalo pass rush. That was, uh, it was obviously ravaging the Jets offensive line. Uh, but I do think this will be the next step for Zach. The other thing to cons- consider here is, you have to wonder if Mike White's going to be at the very least a little bit compromised having been banged around so badly on Sunday. Uh, so I think you you probably want w- what was your starter prior to White to be the backup. And uh, listen, Flacco did a, a pretty good job early in the season. We know that he can, you know, he, he's not really suited for coming off the bench cold. Flacco is more suited for coming in as your backup when your starter can't go. And he's had a week to re- to prepare. Um so I, I do have a gut feeling that on Wednesday, Robert Sala will tell us that, that Zach will be the number two quarterback. I think the key here is right up front. Um, the Jets offensive line have one of its worst performances of the year, I thought, in, in the Buffalo game. Um, th- they couldn't get the running game going. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, Z- you know, Zonovan had, had a – I mean, he, he did fairly well. He scored his first touchdown and ran for about 70 yards or something like that, I think it was. But – it was still tough sledding the whole way, and the pass protection was difficult. You know, I covered the uh, Giants game against uh, the Lions at MetLife earlier this season, and obviously Aiden Hutchinson is is a beast. And, you know, he, he made a great interception when he dropped back into coverage, uh, I believe, against uh, Daniel Jones. Um, I, I'm kind of looking forward to that matchup, the Lions front against the, against the Jets front uh, offensively. Uh, the Jets are not going to succeed unless they protect the quarterback and get the running game going. Uh, and so that, that's, that's a big issue. 